it still is not, does not apply. Uh, no, seriously, I want to just, I, what, who am I, I'm going to introduce you to somebody who is an icon. Um, ha, having nothing to do with his talent, yes, he's talentless, he's ugly, he's fat, he's hairy. If you ever are in close proximity to him, he smells. Yet somehow people around the world just love him. I don't. I don't understand why anybody would. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one of the co-stars of Homo Erectus and the upcoming Butt Munchers 12, <laughs> Ron Jeremy. He can say whatever he wants. I gotta say, okay. Yeah, yeah what asshole? One, okay. One, one more, one quick question, then we can open it up to the crowd. Um, thank you. Now, <laughs> Ron, you, you, with your with your gut the size of his mouth, you know, I'll tell you what he does. This actually is true. He likes to fuck with me, and I think it's kind of great, actually. Like, I, and look, I just play a guy on a computer screen. You only see my head, that's all you see in a quick little scene on a computer screen. But just on the credits, how'd you put the credits? Fat man, fat so on computer screen. Yeah. No, one even, no one even sees it. We did a film years ago called Denial, which is also called Water on HBO. It's called, it's called something about sex on DVD. Yeah, it's got uh, McDreamy in it. Yeah. You know, what's the actor's name? Patrick, Patrick Dempsey's in it. It's got a huge cast. Uh, Jason, uh, Jason uh, from Alexander from Seinfeld. And then Christy Taylor. It's a great film, and I, I really fun to see the jacuzzi. So he knows I'm embarrassed because I, I often I'll shave when I do a dumb movie because I'm a little bit hairy. Oh. Shut up. Shut up. So's Robin Williams. You fuckers. And so, so I, I, so I I'll shave when I do films. He told me not to because the part called for. He just wrote this is to screw with me. Hairy back man in jacuzzi. <laughs> and then he knows that he does it on purpose. But in all the joke, jokes, I tell him about your Oxford experience. I lectured at Oxford. Now, where was I now? <laughs> so, the, I will. I will. But so, so, real quick, so in the, in the credits, and I said, I don't like getting my rear end showing on camera because it's ugliest ass, the start of the Mississippi. <laughs> gay guys see me, they'll just go, we're not that gay, goodbye. You know? So, he, he does is he has me turn around real briefly, so I'm not going to use the footage. There it is, and deny. And it's, and it's, uh, that's okay. Wait, I, I lectured at Oxford University and Trinity College in Ireland. I do a lot of tours with the colleges. In the Buddha Ben Bandazar Buddha, yeah. So the lady in Pakistan who got assassinated, who was going to go for president, was running the Oxford Society, the debating society where I actually lectured. And it was her staff. I don't know if she was actually there. I think she was. But her entire staff knew I was going to be there, and she knew I was going to be there. Sent me a nice letter. The third did a very nice job. A little comedy dialogue about American adult movies about. Sex and the Law, Freedom of Speech in America. It was a pretty good, pretty good a two and a half hour lecture. I was so nervous, I actually, it was really one of the hardest things I've ever done. A couple, I'm looking at future presidents and prime ministers, you know, at Oxford, and so, and then of course after, you know, Buddha had sent her people to tell me that she liked what I did, and I did a good job. Then of course, some years and years later, she got assassinated, you know, as running for Pakistan. Was part of that lecture series, though? Oh, then, uh, oh yeah, this, the, the article on the Newswire, an AP Wire, it was very funny, it said, uh, Malcolm X, uh, Mother Teresa, three US presidents, two prime ministers, and Ron Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> and Dalai Lama, they had a whole list. It was, it was a nice list to be on. I'm just getting to know them. Okay, 